In this video, we're going to learn about Langchain's parent child retriever, which can be used in retrieval augmented generation or RAG apps. Now in a RAG app, we'll create embeddings of chunks of text in our documents and store those embeddings somewhere. And we'll then retrieve the appropriate chunks based on the questions asked. Now with the parent child retriever, we still embed those same chunks, but each chunk also has a link to a bigger parent chunk that it's part of. And in the retrieval step, we'll still look up those child chunks to find the most specific piece of text to answer our question, but we'll then return the text for the chunk's parent so that we give the LLM more context to work with. Let's now come over to a Jupyter notebook and we're gonna start by loading the text from a recent BBC article about the AI safety summit in the UK. So we've got it in a file called ai.txt. We'll just read that into the text variable. And if we scroll down, you can see it's about an interview between Elon Musk and Rishi Sunak. We're now going to convert that text into a Langchain document using the, the page content will be the text and we'll pass in some metadata as well. And then if we return the documents array, you can see it's exactly the same th text that we just saw. Now we're going to store these that, that document in Chroma DB. So let's import some libraries and we're then gonna create a parent splitter. So that's gonna get the bigger chunks of text, a child splitter. So that's gonna get the smaller chunks of text inside the, 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 those bigger ones. We're then gonna create our Chroma database. And we'll be using the fast embed uh, library to embed our chunks. And then we're gonna create an in-memory store for the parent documents. We'll then create the retriever and that's gonna take in the parent and child stores as well as the child and parent splitters. And then let's add the, our single document to the retriever. We're also gonna create a variable that has the child retriever so that we can compare the two against each other. Now we're gonna query the parent and child retrievers or, and, and see what we get back. So let's, let's ask the child one first. Get me some documents for Elon Musk. And you can see it comes back with some chunks of text, the ones which mentioned his name. What about if we do the same thing with the parent one? So you can see this time, it's, it's again, it's pulling in the, set, like the, the same sort of area of the article, but it's also getting in a whole bunch of extra context as well. So it's getting in much bigger chunks. Let's now have a look what happens if we pass that into an LLM. So we're gonna use the Alama tool which we can use to run LLMs on our machine and we're going to use the Zephyr model which is a, a fine-tuned model on top of the Mistral AI LLM. So let's create a the let's initialize the an Alama model and we'll pass in the, the Zephyr as the model name and then we're going to create a prompt template to tell it hey I want you to answer some questions I'm going to pass you some context I don't want you to use any other information and then we'll initialize a prompt template and now we're gonna create what we call a QA chain. So this is really good for, for doing question and answer. So we'll create one for the using the child retriever. So notice that the retriever this time is child. And then we'll do exactly the same, but this time changing the retriever to be that parent retriever. Otherwise, everything else is the same. And on both of them, we're telling it, I want you to return me the source document so that we can have a look what it used to answer the questions. Now let's answer some questions. So what does Elon Musk have to say about jobs and AI? So we'll ask the child one first. As you can see, it comes back, Elon Musk predicts AI will eventually make work redundant and there will come a point when no job is needed. What about if we ask the, the parent uh, chain instead? So you can see this time, same answer, but it then also adds in a bunch of context about humanoid robots and, and some, other, some other information as well, potentially being able to use AI to improve the government's website. If we then have a look at the source documents, for the child, you can see it's quite of interesting. It does have more context than was used in the answer, but it hasn't actually used everything. What about the parent one? So you can see this time, if we look through, we can see that it does actually, in the, in the, in the parent context, it mentions the idea of having a referee. And if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see there it also mentions the government website. And that wasn't in the, the child chunk. So that is some extra information that it was able to get. Let's ask it another question. So this time, tell me about, uh, apparently Elon Musk tweeted a cartoon just, bef just before they were, they were speaking. So we'll ask the child one. Uh, and so it actually gives me a really detailed answer this time. Sometimes I found it can be quite terse and it just says, hey, yeah, there was a, a cartoon. Uh, interestingly, if you know, look at the end, uh, there's a hallucination about uh, as if uh, Musk was talking with Boris Johnson, uh, who was actually the, the previous but one a prime minister to Rishi Sunak. So that's kind of an interesting thing. It definitely doesn't, I don't think it mentions Boris Johnson in there, but it's kind of pulled him in. And again, if we do the same with the 
the, the parent one, actually, the answer is almost, almost the same. There's not, not too much extra that it's giving here. And again, if we look through the documents, we can see the child one is using much smaller bits of text and the, the, the parent one is using much bigger ones. And so this looks like quite an interesting uh, evolution as part of the retrieval part of a RAG app. I definitely got to play around with those chunk sizes to see if you make it bigger, smaller, do you get better or even worse results. Uh, if you liked this video, you might also like this one up here uh, where I give an introduction to retrieval augmented generation.